welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi welcome my name is ruby and on today's video i actually have this look inspired by the euphoria show everybody and their moms is like trying this look so i wanted to go ahead and hop on the trend i hope you guys like it and if you want to see how i did this look please keep on watching so i know most of you guys have heard of the show euphoria and i've watched probably like two episodes it's a little too out there for me um but everybody and tiktok and everywhere is doing like a euphoria eye look so i wanted to go ahead and try it and see if i can come up with something cute if i like i've never done anything like this so i have some diamonds here and i want to do it in the color purple um i don't know why purple but for some reason i'm feeling purple I have, a f I have a few palettes here that I'm going to use that have like the shade purple. Excuse my short hair length. Like, I don't know what to do with it. It's just in an awkward stage. Like, usually se para así. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and it doesn't look good on me. Uh, but I used to have like this short and it grew like this much. I'm letting it grow so. But I'm in a weird like stage right now and I don't like it. But anyways, um, I had been a little MIA because I had been super sick. Like right now, I'm kind of deaf, which feels so weird. Okay, I'm going to use this purple, this little purple one here. Morphe palette 35C Everyday Chic. I don't use this palette a lot. Like when I bought it. I bought it for like these colors, but you don't really use it a lot, but it's super pretty. And I think it's like $25, so it's really worth it just because of the colors. But if you use like, or if you do your makeup a lot, I don't do my makeup a lot, but I love it. Tiene de todo un poco. Um, what was I saying? So I've been like pretty MIA. I'm going to get a fluffy brush. I'm going to tap it. <sighs> I have this oh, this mirror. This is my bronzer. Um, yeah, I've been sick. So, like. I've been sick for like three weeks and I'm going to put this just in my crease. I've been sick for, for three weeks. So the first week I was sick because of like nausea. So I was like throwing up that whole week and I want to like flare it out a little bit and give it like a wing effect. Um, I was throwing up, I was so nauseous, and then I got sick with, like, a cold, um, and I had a really bad, like, cough, like, I just had a cough, um, thankfully I didn't have COVID, and then, and then that lasted for a whole week, and I had really bad, like, body aches. I mean, I think it's because the weather, um, it has been, like, really, really crazy. Like, it's been, like, so cold. And then during the day, it's, like, warm. Like, right now, outside is warm. But last night, I was so cold. Um, and, and I, like, I, I couldn't even do anything. I couldn't function. I was just in bed all day. I was in bed. And then, literally, I couldn't even get up and shower. I didn't shower for, like, four days. Like, that's kind of gross, but yeah, I couldn't. I was just in bed. Like, I would eat and sleep, eat and sleep, eat and sleep. And I had really bad headaches. Um, and then... This is a pretty color. Oh, and then I got better, and then my sister-in-law invited me to go on a hike. 
and I went, but I didn't take a sweater. I didn't take a sweater because it was like during the day, but I didn't come back home till la noche. So when I like went outside and stuff, like I don't know if you hear me, I feel like a little stuffy and I'm like deaf from this ear. Um, I went. I went hiking and it was good and then the next day I was like sick and then I was sick for a whole week and then barely like till now I feel better but I was like oh my gosh like ni me da ganas de hacer nada literally like no salí for like two weeks I'm just doing the next, is the same step on this eye and flaring it out. This shirt used to fit me like really loose. Like right now it's like squishing down my boobs, like Taylor. But now it doesn't fit me. I'm like super wide guys. Like my nose is even so wide because I've been gaining weight and and it's not fun, but I'm just going with it. Um, right now I'm like so full. I woke up and I was so hungry. Like I've been hungry since four in the morning, but I didn't listen to her. <laughs> I just like, I'm like, I'm so tired. Usually I have snacks like, uh, like a pan or like yogurt or something. Um, but I was like, no, I'm too tired. And then, um, at seven, she woke me up because she was hungry. So then I just ate some yogurt and went back to sleep because I was so tired. And then, um, and then, uh, I woke up at 11 and yeah, ya no aguantaba el hambre. So I went to buy two sopes. They were really big, so I'm like super full. Oh. But are you guys watching Euphoria? Do you guys like it? I think it's interesting, but I just think it's too like sexual for me, you know? I feel like I'm watching P O R N. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. Should we try doing like a cut crease or like should we just keep building color? I'm gonna go for our next color. I'm gonna darken it. Okay. And then we're just gonna darken it a little bit with this this purple one right here. This one from the James Charles palette. I might use the same brush. I'm gonna put it a little bit abajito, like where the crease is, like right here. Just so I can start giving like a grading, a blending effect. Gradient, como se diga? Oh, anyways, um, I watched like two episodes. Um, but I mean, all the actors, like all the girls and stuff, they're like really pretty and they dress up really pretty. But I don't think it's a show that like I'm obsessed with. Um, But I just finished uh, like a few shows on Netflix that I that I like been been watching. Um, I just watched one because they llama Feria the god of darkness or something of darkness i finished it in like two days it was only eight episodes in one season um like yeah i think in two days it was good but it was kind of like trippy too it was kind of like a lot of nakedness and it's about like these um this little small town in like spain that um has like a cult 
and they're like some demons and stuff and and it goes inside like your body and it's kind of trippy but it was good but it's like a lot of nudity también, and a lot of like not a lot of sexual stuff but like a lot of nudity and like they have to you have to be naked there but the girl's parents like disappear and like they have no idea what's going on just that a bunch of people are dead and stuff like you should watch it oh and then another show that was kind of trippy if you have amazon prime there's like this movie called ambient or i'll put like the the thing right here it's really good i mean no it's not that really good actually it's good but it's kind of like like the girls like what the hell just happened like you're just so confused and then that one has nudity too what the heck is going on with what these shows that i'm watching <laughs> um no i think every show nowadays has like a lot of a lot of nudity and stuff like cierren los ojos si no les gusta ver eso <laughs> or if you're watching it with somebody small um but yeah that movie's trippy i saw it and somebody like um, on TikTok posted that like you should watch it and then like I, I watched it with my brother and no lie like for two days I had like a nightmare about like the the guy the guy in there um but I changed it to something different less uh to something less sexual um I need a burp. I burp so much now. Okay, I'm really liking this. I'm thinking, I'm just gonna, it's like gonna be super easy. Now I'm just gonna put like a shimmery shade around like on this area right here. And then I'm gonna just put diamonds here. Like in the line. Well, I'm gonna try. But it's so far it's looking good. What do you guys think? Let's see. Oh, how pretty. And this one is from the shade that I'm using now. It's from Element of Surprise by ColourPop. And it's this one. I never really use this palette. I just swatch them. And use like this brown one and this one. But never use none of those. It's really pretty. That's what I got it in my boxy charm. Like a long time ago. Okay, I'm gonna dip with a little brush just to do the inner corner. I don't have contacts on, that's why I'm using a mirror. Usually I use like my my screen to like use as a mirror, but I couldn't find them. And my doctor said that supposedly when you're pregnant, um you can't like scab tus ojos, like you won't be able to really see with your contacts, but Last time I used them and they were fine. I love this, guys. It's so pretty. Why don't I do my makeup like that? Okay, I'm gonna put this in the inner. Oh. So I bet you guys already know because the whole world knows. Um, that Anuel has a new girlfriend, Jaylene La Más Famosa. <laughs> I mean, right now she is, because, hold on, let me. I heard something to say about that. So I just used pretty much three palettes, one shade each. But if you had like a purple uh, eyeshadow palette, you can do it like with that. Super easy, like two crease shades and then just a little bit of glitter to give it like something, you know? And then I have another palette. This one's so old, but I still like it. I'm gonna use this little shade. So 
like a purple highlight. Put that in the inner corner and then I'm gonna put that on my cheeks too. It's just a little lighter just to like uh, brighten up the inner corner. <laughs> Big ol' Epo. Oh yeah, yeah, you need this color. I don't even know if they sell this palette anymore. It's like the Carly Bible palette. I used to watch her a lot. It's crazy how she like had a baby and then her like Nicole Guerrero just had a baby. Um but see how it just like brightened it up. I'm gonna take it up a little bit and then blend it. Oh my gosh, I love Okay, now comes the hard part where we like either make it or break it. Oh, but let me before continue because you know I can't multitask anymore. Um, so back to Jaylene. Everybody's talking like smack about her and him because he like moved on already. And honestly, celebrities are not like any different from us. And one thing that I learned, like, they change boyfriends more often than we do, you know? Um, but everybody's talking how, like, she's so ratchet, she's so immature. And they want to compare her to Karol G. Karol G is 29, I think. Like, por ahí, 29, 30, por ahí. Um, and Jaylene is 19. So there's, like, a 10-year difference. You cannot, like... I start, I don't know why I raised my voice. Sorry. I'm like passionate about it. <laughs> um, I'm going to put some down my nose a little bit. And like you can't expect a 19 year old to act mature as like or have the same mentality as a 29 year old, a 30 year old. Um, there's some people that do mature really young but there's others that don't and i remember when carol g there's some videos of her like when she was younger she was like a little wretched too and i remember on even on television she was like finding some girl so i mean i guess people forget that since it's been a while but i'm like how do they expect i don't know i just don't expect her to act like I don't know. That's how she is. Y así la quiso la duel or whatever they're doing. If it's for, like, publicity. ¿Cómo se dice? Like, por, para publicidad. Then that's on them. But, like, why do people... Why are they so mad? Like, déjelos. That's not your brother. That's not your cousin. Like, you don't even know Anuel. Like, you know, let him be. And, um... Yeah, like, because it's all over my TikTok, so I'll be like, oh my god, why do you guys care? Like, but then I saw yesterday that I guess she just had surgery. Then she just had a BBL because she had, like, that faja. Um, and he was helping her, like, like, <laughs> um, he was helping her, uh, like, clasp it on. And he was all struggling. I'm like, dang, he, he's a real MVP because... Not any guy would just help you put on your faja. Especially, like, like it's not just, like, a, any faja. Like, it's the one that's hard. And I tried, like, remember, like, like if you've ever worn, like, a weight trainer, you know how hard it is to, like, clasp it. So, that's really nice of him. <laughs> that's cute. But, yeah, it's sad because, like, you've seen them. A ver, guys, we'll see. I don't know if to put, should I try to do a bite? No, I'm just going to put them randomly. I'm going to put it randomly. Because I was going to do a line, but I don't know if the line will go with me. Um, Like, it's a little sad because him and Karol G were so cute together. And... Okay, ooh, okay. Feels a little weird, guys. I've never done this. I have glitter on my brow. How did it get there? Okay, now we're going to do it over here again. Oh, they, like, they were so cute, you know? They were, like, goals. Okay, espérenme tantito. And 
to attach them, I'm just using my lash glue. I feel kind of weird, but it's so cute. Okay. Um, what did I say? Oh, that they were, they were goals. Like you wanted to have a relationship like that, you know, but even like look at Mira's and you see that it's so perfect. Sometimes it's not. People have issues. Um, your relationship could be so perfect and then the next month or the next year, like it's not working out and it's okay to say bye, you know, you don't have to get stuck on the, like I said, like if it's not good, then you gotta go. Um, but I think everybody's like, oh, well, he's doing the same thing like he did with Carol G, giving her balloons, giving her stuff. Like, first of all, the men is a Sagittarius. They're very... Um, the tallista, because I have a brother that's uh Sagittarius, and oh my gosh, girls, like, so does I tell like they don't know you, so then I have to tell her, like, dude, chill out. Oh, I put her one in the middle. Oh, he has a girlfriend. Sometimes I have to tell him, like, dude, chill out. You don't have to, like, be spoiling her 24-7, you know? Um, <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm not, like, not because I'm, like, celosa and stuff. But just because sometimes that doesn't get reciprocated or sometimes, like, people just use, just use him for for gifts and stuff and he gives the best gifts like like uh he he just like um asked me to make her like a candy bouquet asking her asking her um to be his valentine's because i guess she's been throwing in directos I don't know who's probably hearing me talk. <laughs> um, I think that's so cute, you know? You know how everybody on, on TikTok has been saying, like, even if it's your boyfriend, like, he has to ask you to be his Valentine. My husband asked me, so. I guess. Um, I'm just putting them randomly ahorita. Vamos a ver cómo, cómo nos queda. But it's so cute. Um, and they're sticking on really good. So I'm going to put like the first shadow that we use from the Morphe 35C underneath. Pick up the, the little jewels. These jewels are the ones I use for my nails. Like when I do nails. You can find this on Amazon. But I think it's so easier, like it's so much easier than using like tweezers. Okay. The next one. Okay. Um. But yeah, I think people should just let them be happy. I don't know why. Like, I mean, they are putting their life on the internet. So, so when I was smaller, I used to, like, I love drawing and arts and crafts, but... Like, nunca me dio el tiempo to actually, like, do stuff anymore. So, I haven't colored or drawn forever. So, this is the closest thing to, like, doing some arts and crafts. Tanya! Did you give the thing to Leslie? Yeah. What did she say? She liked it. And I my boba. Not me. Maybe menu. He said he did give her like the, the candy bouquets. Okay, what do we think? I feel like being jeweled up 
so i put a really thin uh lash line like nothing too crazy just so because i did try like some bigger ones and it like hid all the gems and stuff and i want it to be like the focal point so i think these like baby ones are like perfect and i am obsessed what do you guys think i think for the first time trying something like this is really nice i remember like before euphoria like years ago um the diamond trend was like really popular too but i guess it's back and i wanted to try it out since i've never tried it then i hope you enjoyed this look and this little chit chat with me if you did like always please give me a big thumbs up subscribe comment down below what you'll like to see next and i'll see you on my next video